it's very much like after talking to you for about an hour, it's like being at a dinner party and realising you're the only one on cocaine. <laughs> you find yourself thinking, they're not a very chatty bunch. <laughs> if it wasn't for me, this would be shit. <laughs> I was going to tell you a story about a gig I did recently. I did a gig for Mojo magazine. It's a big, you know, pop magazine. And uh, did it, get, it all went well. I was doing their award show for them. They invited me on. They said, yeah, will you do our awards? I said, my pleasure. Lovely. Lots of rock stars and rock chicks. be cool. There was the awards there. I was just doing sort of 10-minute stand-up to begin with. I told a slightly anti-American joke. I said, of course, in Britain, we've got to eat as much as you like restaurants, whereas in America, you've got to eat as much as you can. <laughs> you've added that important ingredient, competition. <laughs> so not only could you be enjoying a delicious meal, you could be beating a personal best. <laughs> Thus, the necessity for three pockets on the back of your jeans, you fat fucks. <laughs> and a voice from the back of the room shouted, Fuck off! I thought, I presume you're American, are you? He said, yes. I said, think of it as friendly fire. <laughs> he then shouted, Fuck off again, but louder. I thought, well, I'd better deal with this. I said, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, the only reason I got into comedy and doing this kind of thing is because I thought it would be a bit of a fanny magnet. I wasn't expecting a cunt like that. <laughs> At which point, the editor of Mojo magazine, who was sitting just down here, got up and looked like he was going to come around and pull me off. <laughs> Not like that. <laughs> that was funny, well done. No, no, you go ahead. <laughs> I sort of signalled to him to stop. <laughs> I signalled to him to stop. I said, I'm sorry, sir, it was, a, it was a cheap shot. It's a bullseye, it doesn't matter. <laughs> and I apologise unreservedly, sir. I did not mean to... Well, I mean, the thing was, the, the line got a laugh, but then there was a big... There was an audible... Ooh. I thought, well, who have I told to fuck off? It was a guy called Anthony Kiedis. <laughs> who's the lead singer of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. And I'd noticed on the way in that he was on the cover of Mojo magazine. And I wasn't. <laughs> I thought, this is a social faux pas of epic proportions. <laughs> I, you know, and I thought, well, I better apologise unreservedly. I said, I am sorry. If I've caused any offence, I'm sorry. I did not mean to call you a cunt. I'm sure you're not. I'm sure you don't have the depth or the capacity to give pleasure. <laughs> I'd say comfortably, four minutes later, I was presenting him with a Lifetime Achievement Award. <laughs> <laughs> I got interviewed last week by a very nice young lady. She said, what's your house like? I said, I've got a semi. <laughs> Which would have been fine, but then I showed it to her. And, of course, by then, it wasn't a semi. 